All right, the Native Slayer Max walkthrough. Hey, we're gonna check out the mods I've done and uh, might even talk about some of the things I got coming up. I got a lot of mods coming up on this thing, but let's go ahead and walk through this. As you can see, I added some LED lights to the back. Back, I added white on the outside. I added these white lights on the outside. Added some interior white lights on the back, on the inside. Of course, got my little kayak crate I'm working on. Got the boondocks landing gear. Got the rail blazer uh, mount for my camera. Got one of my favorite upgrades or whatever you want to call it for kayak fishing. It's a little backwater assault paddle, a little handheld paddle. So you ain't got to go back here to the back and, and get your paddles that are in place and the little clips that's built in from native back here. You know, as you can see, it's built in from native to hold your big paddle. You got to be turning around trying to grab that thing. Bam, you jam that thing right here or, or right there beside of your fish finder. Bam, you're good to go. Now I can turn on my fish finder power or my bow lights, the mid lights. I got blue lights on the interior. I got a USB charger right there on the left built in with two usb chargers as you can see and it also has a display for the voltage current voltage of your battery which is 13.3 and i just got done fishing so i used a little bit of it didn't fish long because it got rained on and everything else but i got all the lights on right now that's why the power's not showing 14 probably but bam that's what's powering everything the code of lithium right there in the battery box that is leaned it back a little bit your transducer goes down below that and uh, it's got a the, the built-in place for that bam to go right through your kayak one thing i love about this native slayer try to make everything as easy as possible coated lithium 23 amp hour battery so that'll definitely run all my lights my lawrence uh hook to reveal it's basically the new one they have so when you have it on a uh, down imaging, it's still gonna show you the chirp stuff, all built into one. I definitely like that. You know, got all my tools under there. On the other side, I'll bring you over there and show you that. So bam, got all my tools sitting here beside my water. You know, definitely all the tools you may need. <laughs> uh, always go on the water with the tools, don't forget them. Bam, and there we go, the front lights. Got green on this side, red on the other side for the native Slayer Max. Bam, the sun's real bright, but hey, that is red on this side. So, I would say I haven't did a ton to it besides a little bit of electronics, but I'm gonna be trying to add a manual uh, power pole here to the back. I'm gonna try to build something and add it to the back. and maybe even a dual one to have one on both sides so you don't spin around at least that's my idea hey hey might as well go with a dual one if you're gonna make one just drop them both at the same time and i'm gonna try to make that out of some starboard and see how that goes hopefully i'll be able to do that in the next couple weeks next week or two i got so much stuff going on that it's gonna be hard to get stuff done but hey i'm gonna work on it that's for sure definitely liking the propel drive you know, it's a lot easier than paddling. That is for sure. It comes with the built-in weed guard. Definitely like that. As I talked about, definitely like the, the high seat. I talked about this high seat on my review video. If you haven't seen that, hey, I'll leave that linked above. Go check that video out. This is one right here. It's not really a review. It's just a walkthrough of kind of what I've done to it and, you know, how I like it, what I got going on with mine. Hey, definitely like the setup. But if you like this kind of video, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hey, and thanks for watching.